How's it going, monkeys fighting robots nation? Matt Sardo here, and we need to talk about Cobra Commander number one, which drops today. Whew. Oh, man, that took all my energy out of me, man. I had this whole conversation about how I was going to review more books in 2024. And then 2024 smacked me in the face with a big cold and wiped me out last week. And if you listen to the last video, you can tell my voice was dying in it. And I was like, all right, man, we're going to rock this week because we're recovered. And then my kids get a snow day on Tuesday. And then there was a two hour delay today. And I'm like, oh my God, I just want to review comic books. Ah! Oh, okay. Now that I've vented and, and hopefully you haven't switched the channel, you're ready to talk about Cobra Commander. Number one, Joshua Williamson uh, is the writer. Andre Milana is the artist. And Annalisa Leone is the colorist. And Rush, Russ Wooten is the letter on this book. So what I need to talk to you about with this is I was not prepared for the book that I read. After going to New York Comic Con and talking to Joshua and listening to what they had to say and in the preview panels that they gave me, I was expecting this like horror book. And when 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 Joshua like said it was a horror book, I thought it was going to be kind of more like a grounded origin of like I don't know where I was, but horror movies are usually like lower budget and, and grounded and not pretty crazy with what's going on. And so I thought we were going to get this like really creepy Cobra Commander street level kind of build up of psychopath kind of thing. And the first few pages of the book kind of come across that way. And then the book starts and then it like really starts and, and I wasn't prepared for how huge the universe was going to be in Cobra Commander and actually in like the Energon universe itself. I wasn't sure. I didn't realize that they were going to go so big uh, with the G.I. Joe universe and the Transformers universe. And in hindsight, it makes sense uh, what they did and, and, and where they went with it. You know, if you look at like Transformers and Duke and Cobra Commander as one giant blockbuster epic epic kind of crazy movie this totally makes sense and you know you add in void rivals like you're like okay this this totally makes sense where they are uh i'm interested to see where it goes from here now like now that they've introduced certain elements of the book or universe what are they going to do with it and Cobra Commander has a huge, uh, I don't know if it's twist or reveal at the end of the book, and that's going to be pure chaos, and I can't wait for that to happen. So there's a lot of really cool things that happened in this book. Yet I was still a little, you know, I was like, I was not ready for it. And then also I'm, I'm thinking about this, like Duke is the book that I love the most, and that makes sense for my personality. Good guys, bad guys. Good guys beating up bad guys. Like, that's what's going on. Cobra Commander, bad guy story. Like, you know, total bad guy story. So I'm like, why do I, why did I not enjoy this as much as Duke? And I'm like, well, I don't like seeing bad guys kill people. Like, it's just not, it's not my cup of tea. Or I don't like seeing the rise of a bad guy. Like, this isn't like uh, Anakin Skywalker where he's like, oh, I'm good. And then he slowly turns to evil and goes from there. Like, no, Cobra Commander's just a bad guy from the beginning and he's just doing bad things. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I wasn't really like, just after reading it, I was just like, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Can't wait to see where they go with that one. And I'm like, okay. But if it was like intermit if if Transformers and Duke and Cobra Commander were all one book, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I can't and I'd be kind of more jazzed because then I would be like, I would still be rooting for Duke in the book. And then like, you know, Trans Optimus Prime's got his thing going on. And like, but as a single read, I'm like, it's gonna be very interesting to uh read this book because it's like, oh, this is a bad guy story and and how everything kind of comes together with with Duke and G.I. Joe and Cobra Commander building Cobra. And then the Transformers universe on top of that. I, I'm trying to think about how they have... And my brain is just like, what does the giant whiteboard look like at Skybound with Robert Kirkman outlining this universe? Like, how long, how long are the Transformers going to stay on Earth? You know, and then once, you know, do they leave? And then it's just Cobra and G.I. Joe duking it out. Or is it always going to be like... A little Transformers help, a little, you know, that kind of Decepticons and G.I. Joe and Cobra all mixed together. Or, 
you know, and then the other big reveal in Cobra, uh, in, in Cobra Commander, I'm like, okay, is is that going to last a long time? Or is, like, things going to happen where they just wipe it off the table real quick? They introduce it and then wipe it off the table? So it's I'm, I'm very intrigued on the Energon universe right now because it's it just got massively huge uh, with Cobra Commander number one. Uh, and the artwork is top-notch. I love all the color palettes that they're using. Uh, and the lettering worked really well. And, again, those first few pages that they've revealed are, are super creepy and, and, and got me really jazzed. And then how the universe expands from there, I'm like, oh, this is good. But I loved everything about the book. I thought it, the way everything kind of laid out uh, worked really well. The, pan, the panel layout, the page layouts, and, and the pacing of the book, I was, like, bouncing really good with it. So I really enjoyed it. But I don't want to spoil it for you. And I want you to read it and then come back to me and comment below on on what you thought of it. Because it's definitely not what I was expecting. Um, but I'm excited for the journey of Cobra Commander and to see how it ties into the Energon universe and how it builds up to like a actual G.I. Joe book coming out of this. Um, again, Matt Saro, Monkeys Fighting Robots. Go pick up Cobra Commander number one from Skybound, Image Comics, and Hasbro. Enjoy your new comic book day, and I will talk to you soon.